Star trekking across the universe. What do I have in my little paws, guys? I have the Zion Smooth Q stabilizing gimbal for your smartphone. This is the Smooth Q from Zion Tech. It's a smartphone gimbal. It's a three axis gimbal at that, and it's a really nice build to it. It is a plastic build. It isn't metal like some of their other products, but overall it does feel really nice. I love this down here. This is a new addition, the thumbstick here. They normally have um, the classic style thumbstick, but this one here is a bit more flat and a bit more wide, and it actually feels a lot nicer. I'm liking that. You also have mode button, you have record, and an option to take photos. You can zoom in and out, and then you plug it in to charge. So on the Amazon listing right here, you can pick up the Smooth Q for $139 from their official page. I will have the link in the description below to check this bad boy out. Overall, the battery life on this thing is fantastic. You can customize the actual locking point here and open up the clasp here or the grip to hold on to your smartphone. So it works on many different smartphones. I have the iPhone 7 Plus, so quite a massive phone and it works perfectly fine. I've still got a bit more room to move, so even the larger phones will work. You have a quarter inch screw in the bottom here, so you can connect that to a tripod or some sort of pole. I've got the Smooth Q set up in a locked mode right now, so if I actually twist the handle, it does nothing. It's just completely locked right now. And this is actually a really cool mode to be in if you're a vlogger, if you're someone that just wants to talk to the camera and make sure that it's constantly set. Unfortunately, as you turn though, it doesn't turn with you. So you can't physically turn. I'm turning around here in a 360 degree motion and this is all it can do. So that's one of the modes there. And then if I set it up in another mode, for example, then I can just have it follow me as I'm turning around. So if I tap mode right now, now it will follow me as I'm turning around. So these two different modes are completely different, but they offer some really cool functionality. It's actually started raining, so I probably should get out of the rain with this electronical, linguonical monocle. So I'm out of the rain now, and overall this gimbal here for $139, guys, I don't think you realize how cheap that is. I remember looking into gimbals a few years ago and they were really expensive. They're now affordable for consumers and this one here for $139 is remarkable. It really is. Um, I've got my iPhone 7 Plus here which has a phenomenal camera on it already. So that's the majority of the grunt power. And then you've got these three axis gimbal or you've got the three axis gimbal with these three brushless motors um, which do all of the work and counteract all of those movements. So I can spin around and it is a little bit delayed in the trail, um, but that's just when it comes to panning. Everything else is fine when I move down and up woo, and spin around. Everything is ridiculous, guys. So overall, I love this thing and I'd love to know what you think in the comments. It is a plastic build, but it still does feel really sturdy. The motors feel really great as well. The housing here is like a thickened plastic as well. Um, and all of the connection points are really well done. So you have the option to zoom in and out here. You have a record button or a pitch taking button and you have different modes. So you can put it into the different modes. That's the locked mode there. So even though I'm turning it, everything will stay stable. And look how impressive that is. That's one thing that I love about Zion. Their technology and the software and the hardware is programmed perfectly. It just works really well. Look at that. How insane is that? I can literally turn it and it will stay stable. So that's one of the modes. You have different modes, but you basically use the Zion Assistant app or the Assist app, I believe it's called. Um, and you can then control everything from the application. You can calibrate it and you can do whatnot. Um, but in that application there, that's where you can enable the camera. And that's how these hardwired buttons here work. Um, so they don't work uh, just on your normal iPhone, just on the camera there. You have to actually go into the Zion application and then the hardwired uh, buttons here will work perfectly fine with the software. So that worked really well from all of my tests. The joystick works really well. You also have a quarter inch screw on the base here. That allows you to, you know, screw it into a tripod or a pole or other accessories. And overall, the build quality is really nice, guys. This is actually my first smartphone gimbal that I've tested. I've tested um, GoPro gimbals. I've tested out um, DSLR and mirrorless camera gimbals. But this is my first smartphone gimbal. And it's really plausible, guys. It's a viable alternative. The iPhone 7 Plus has a fabulous camera on it. A lot of other cameras out there 
like the uh, Google Pixel are really awesome. So guys, I would highly recommend this for a, an affordable smartphone gimbal, maybe the first one that you've ever picked up or your first time getting into professional shooting and you already have a decent phone. These phones are worth like $1,000, so they're decent phones, they have good cameras and they're only going to improve in the future. This thing here is great, guys. Um, I really do like it. Obviously, the one thing is the plastic feel. It does feel a little bit flimsy, but it does still feel sturdy. It's quite a thickened plastic. Uh, I don't know how many hits it could take. It does have a nice finish to it. The arm is really stable. The motors are good. All the screwing locking points are great. Overall, though, this is a really cool smartphone gimbal. So if you're in the market for something like this, highly recommend this one, $139, extremely affordable. The technology they've put behind these motors here and the software and everything has been years in the making. So they're not a relatively new company. They've been around for years, guys. I've been reviewing their tech for years, and this is just the culmination of affordable quality tech that you can really just pick up and play around with. Absolutely love this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments below if you do pick one up i will have the link to the amazon listing of this bad boy here thank you so much for watching though make sure to have a splendid day and peace out